Hello! Today I want to talk about an icon. She's not only an icon in the music industry, not only an icon in the fashion industry, not only an icon in the beauty industry, but she's also an icon in the legal field. And I'm talking about Rihanna. She can do it all. She literally can do it all. We don't deserve her. We really do not deserve her. So let me just tell you how, how she changed the legal scope of passing off. Essentially, passing off in the UK is a tort. A lot of celebrities rely on the act, not the act, on the tort of passing off to protect their images. For example, in the US, they have certain statutes on unauthorized use of someone's images. And then depending on the states, um, it can vary, but they do have that within their statutes and their case law. But in the UK, that area of protecting someone's images is, oh, let's just say it's underdeveloped. For passing out, there are three elements. So you need a goodwill, then there's misrepresentation, and there's damages. So goodwill, um, I'll put the case law, but essentially they, the court define goodwill as the attracting force that brings in consumers so it's not the same thing as reputation i would in my head reputation is more like the aftermath more so as the goodwill is oh <laughs> hmm, what is good yeah i think reputation is more the aftermath of it more so like or it doesn't necessarily have to be tied to the business so it could because Passing off has to be within a business uh, context, like within there's a trade happening. Reputation doesn't necessarily have that, I think. Well, maybe it could. Because a business is, uh, in my head, it's like a business is always a business. Like, <laughs> in the sense of even if, you know, like the closing hours, like there's still a business happening. Because, you know, there's the website, there's social media, I, mean, I don't know, like, Ugh, maybe I'm going on a tangent. Once again, uh, yeah, goodwill. Misrepresentation is the element that leads to deception. Deception and confusion are not the same thing. Confusion, it's more a consumer not knowing which of these two is an iPhone. It's like, what is an iPhone? Like, you know, you don't know. Um, whereas deception, it's thinking this is the iPhone. Like, it has the same design and possibly have like it's not necessarily uh an apple but like it's a peach and you're very like you are thinking that this is the iphone and then when it's like no actually this is not the iphone this is it and you're like wait what like i really want an iphone what the fuck is this you know so that's deception you're not confused you're just like Ugh, i don't want this i want that you know misrepresentation is the element of deception and damages is well when there's misrepresentation misrepresentation it affects the trader so there are damages so these are the three elements of passing off and in the context of celebrity and personality rights the courts use well before they were reluctant to favor the people <laughs> the celebrities and i have an issue with the term celebrity especially in the legal field because especially with um social media stars and everything where do we start talking about celebrities and when if for example a celebrity is no longer at its peak do they are they still considered celebrities because there are celebrities that used to be famous and now they are regular people so where is the line get because you won't see in the statutes you must have 100k followers to be considered a celebrity it is it really varies from case to case in the context of publicity rights celebrities, the first case that challenged the subject was Irvin and Talksport um, LTD Limited, and this was about the radio station Talksport that used unauthorized images of the F1 driver Eddie Irvin for their brochures. The court established the purpose of passing off to protect their the celebrities exclusive use rights of their images so the fact that the driver already has popularity within the f1 sport which is the goodwill 
and the actions, the consequences of the unauthorized brochure, like other unauthorized images in the brochures, which is the misrepresentation. Because if you're using, you could be like, well, he's a celebrity, like, it's fine. It's, the thing is, when it's for commercial advertising purposes, when you are seeing a celebrity's faces attached to a product, you are thinking, oh, the person must have approved this project. So if the person didn't say yes, and then you're buying it, this is tricky. It's not necessarily about the money, but you wouldn't want your face attached to something that you didn't say yes to, you know? So I feel like I'm very like short. <laughs> That's better. So in that case, the passing off was established. Another case, like Douglas and Hello Ltd, was also we were also reaffirmed from that principle of passing off for celebrities. At that time, the UK did recognize image rights using passing off, but there was a whole sector uh, that was still underdeveloped and not recognized, and that was merchandising. I am getting there. We are. I am getting there for Rihanna. Just please wait. Be patient. When you're an artist, merchandising is very important. That's, I don't say that's a big chunk of where you get your money, but yeah. Merchandising rights were unprotected and there were two cases where it showed that the courts were reluctant to favor the celebrities. So there was Elvis Presley trademark application that got rejected and there was Linkstad and Anabas case which concerned merchandising for the group ABBA. So even if ABBA didn't get accepted and Rihanna did, that is literally like wow. In both of these cases, the court did not recognize and establish goodwill, <laughs> which is actually crazy because ABBA and Elvis Presley are huge. But I do remember reading, oh, I don't want to go find the source, but they did say, like it did say that you must, you need to have established goodwill in the UK. So you could be famous in all the countries, but if you're not, if you don't have established goodwill in the UK, it doesn't work because passing off is in the UK. Yeah, so you could have a billion people following you all around the world, but if you don't have that established image in the UK, we can't help you. Oh, yeah. In the Starbucks case, the court did highlight a separation between goodwill and reputation. They did say that being famous does not automatically satisfy satisfy the goodwill element. And then let's talk about Rihanna. Okay, I'm so excited. What happened was Topshop used an unauthorized image of Rihanna and put them on the t-shirt on t-shirts and then they sold them and the court found that the three elements of passing off were satisfied so top should have to remove the line and rihanna was able to get protection against the unauthorized merchandise this is already huge rihanna already like she's the first for that she's an icon the fenty case did highlight a clear separation between character merchandise, so for example, Kung Fu Panda merchandise, and then celebrity and artist merchandise. I'm pretty sure, and do not quote me on this, the court in, Fent, in the Fenty case, they recognized that Rihanna had an impact on the fashion industry, and so the merchandise that was um, put by Topshop was no bueno. The Fenty case did provide protection for celebrities, merchandising, and now it is also promoting licensing and all of that stuff. But yeah, that's that's basically it. You can only stand Rihanna. She just leads the way for everyone. She's an icon. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you learned something today. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!